We're basically trying to play around our teammates best possible. I really hope this is helping you guys. I'm trying to not mention the system as much because I know it does sound a bit promote. It's just because I'm really passionate about it. That's all. And I'm really excited. But uh, yeah, it, like I say, if you get two players on it and they practice it and they get good at it, you'll level up so much more and you'll have more potential, in my opinion. But anyway, we're going to hit that. That was meant to be a shot target. I'm going to move away. I'm going to move away here and I'm just going to move away. We gotta be careful for this. So they've changed their momentum too much there. So they're not. What well, when you're going for a bump or a demo, you need to do it in rotation. We're gonna take our time here. Quick flick. See how close they are? Double jump. I was trying to kill them actually when they were challenging. That was a, a bit of an all-in play from me. Oh, he's on the outside. This could be bad. It's, whoa. Okay, I, I can't get a demo. I thought that was a low flick. That's fine. Good block. Hopefully, teammate hits that early. There you go. Nice shot. This is good for us. Okay, I'm going to go to this boost now because they're panicking. And then watch this. It's going to be, it was going to be a jab, but I, again, this is why I wait for things. As he came closer, I had to side flip it across to my teammate. So it's always, you don't want to telegraph. If I just went in there burst speed, he would dunk me. And I, I wouldn't be able to change it as easily. So I'm going to slowly move closer and eliminate the direct threat on that. I think teammate's gone too early there. Yep. So when they go early like that, it makes it really awkward because you can't build up as a, as a unit. So right there, I had to back off to net. Didn't have enough time to actually get into the position which I wanted to be. I'm facing forward. I'm going to move up another boost pad. I'm going to move up another boost pad and then I'm going to fake. I'm going to take this across like this. Teammates on the wall, which I'm not a big fan of. And I'm going to come close. I'm going to low 50. I'm going to try and get around with a snapshot. So low 50s worked really well there. I didn't really feel like comfortable for my flick in that position, so low 50. If you don't feel comfortable on your flick, don't force it. Just low 50. We can't pick this up. I don't want to end up with everyone in the corner, so hopefully teammate goes to net. We're going to let this go past us, and we're just going to hit it over. Teammate has gone for the opposite boost. Really thought they wanted to be in net there, but it doesn't matter. You want to... Oh, lag hit. As much as you can, you really want to... I forgot what I was going to say. Actually, completely forgot what I was going to say. I'm going to wait here. And we're going to snapshot. Because we just saw a gap. Because I got closer. I'm watching the player. I saw a gap. We're going to move this straight away. I'm going to get into this position. Nice early aggression. Bumping them. Okay, teammates cut across here. That's difficult. So, oh yeah. So, on the back ball, that's what I was going to say. You can let the ball go in front of you. It's no, no drama. A lot of people are worried about doing that. Letting the ball go in front of them. It's fine. Blocking the net. So, I can side flip. And I get close. And now we were in trouble because they pushed forward. Luckily, they get the win. But again, we're putting it in the hands of them. I'm going to get this guy if I can. Didn't get him. Teammate, bit, bit risky there in my opinion. So, yeah, they're getting a bit too close to the action. I'm not sure where to go in relation to this player right now. But I'm going to go here. Good clear. Nice clear. They're trying a bit too much. Which, it, it just throws it away from them. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to wait. I'm just still waiting. Here's my opportunity. I'm going to hit this hard into like an awkward position for them. Yeah, I thought it might do that. Make them react. I'm going to grab this mid boost because I'm low. Teammates actually got an opportunity to fake. Yeah, well played. Okay, they need to calm down there though. There's no point flipping. Right now, I'm going to show him that I'm in the middle. There's the side flip barrel roll. I'm going to move. I'm going to grab this before they do into the demo. And this is an opportunity. The net is wide open. I'm looking for the respawn guy. What I'm doing there, great pass, is I'm looking for this respawn guy once that guy's out of the play. So this guy's out of the play here, okay? And now I'm trying to go for a respawn if he's here to kill him. But uh, we got the pass off, so I just quickly finish it. And people go, you stole his goal. I did not want to risk it. Okay, that guy could have uh, easily got the save there, not off the kickoff. So I'm going to grab one, two, and I'm just going to high flick it. And that delay is what allowed me to get that boost here. Side flick. Okay, here. Hard shot. And that's it. Okay, so it's it's just the fundamentals straight away. I don't like attacking here, but I had to because of the way I picked up the ball. So now I'm on the outside. So when you're on those outside positions, you really want to look for a way to set up a hook or a power shot off the wing. Otherwise, we really do want to attack inside as best as possible. That was just because of what we were given in that situation. The reason I side flip there is because of their position. I'm going to go for the kill. I missed again the demo on this guy. And he was absolutely killed. He used all of his boost on the kickoff. And didn't have a good respawn. We're going to do that to block. And now I'm going to have to pre-jump. And that is a skill that you have to work on. Okay? Always, always pre-jump the save. Always in those situations. Because they are going to shoot. And if you're on the ground, 
you now have all above to go into. If I jump, they, I've now blocked much more of the net. And I also, because I do a single jump, if it goes forward, I can front flip, side flip, whatever. I have a flip that I can then time. This is going to be really tricky to save. Again, with the side flip, I'm blocking the end of the net here. I'm blocking the, the center, like the, the front post. Okay, as the first man, which you should. They've gotten again too carried away, and this is where the danger lies. Okay, but luckily, I'm going to try and kill this guy and look for the other guy if I can. That should be a goal. Yeah. Luckily, we get the play off that, but teammate pushed out there onto that ball. They didn't need to push out onto that ball there. Uh, it would have been nicer to just stay sort of solid there. GG, well played. So we're on a bit of a streak here. Try not to mention that because that's usually where you lose your streaks. But now we're having a good streak. Uh, in this episode, we've managed to push up quite a bit. Wow, well, still not Div 2. What the hell? I really thought we we're on a massive win streak. I thought we might be Div 2 by now. So he's taken a while at, at champ three. Wow. We're going to push up here with the arc. And we're against the Hizua and Anton Imbecile or something. And what you're... Ooh, that was unnecessary. Actually, there's an opportunity here. Bad shot from me. Moves back straight away. Get out of the way here. See how I turn to the side because I can see where my teammate's going to hit the ball. So I want to pick it up before anyone else if I can. Good challenge from them. They saw that they were jabbing it. So right now, I'm looking. See how I'm looking. Okay. That's what a lot of people don't do. They just go up for blind aerials. I'm looking. It's not hard to hit an aerial without looking at the ball, guys. You know, you've got the muscle memory there. You guys know how to aerial. So I watch instead. There's the quick flick over the top. Didn't get towards the net as much as I want. But the reason I do that, now look at the opening. Boom. Ah, uh, it's a shame they missed the net. Again, fake. Trying to come onto the inside with the fake. They got no boost here, which means they're going to throw away. I'm actually going to let that bounce. And again, I'm watching. Low 50. And here gonna see if we can get another one there you go that's just perfect so if you can't always get the ball pickup look for the low 50 I'll turn sideways onto that based on where they were going and again look i've done a lot of low 50s throughout my career so i know how to play them but hopefully you can see what i'm doing there all right i'm playing into the the, the gap of least resistance i'm forcing it into to make it react in the way i want it to we're gonna move back here there's no point getting involved and i'm up hover guys boom Hover into the corner, try to double there, a bit too ambitious, and straight away get that ball moving on there because they're backing up. Now they have to deal with this. Now I grab this. Now I know Hirozu's weak, which means I might go for a never touch. So there we go. We're going to win another 50. Again, I'm watching that guy into a jab. That's not the jab one. So I'm going to go for a, a touch away to demo and get this guy instead. Okay, now I'm tilting them. But I wanted to do a touch away to open up the space to see that man or that player, I should say. To, to go for the for the demo. I didn't actually get it. Always do the wave dash. Trying to block that. Teammates in a real bad spot there. But luckily, we got the cover. We're going to come up with them. Oh, that's a shame. So, yep. There's probably going to be a goal. They've missed. This is opportunity for us. They threw it away, though. Double jump, double jump, double jump, double jump. Oh, the double jump would have been the move. Double jump was a guaranteed goal there. But people don't like double jumps. Okay, move it into the center. Boom. Go for a hook shot. Miss it. No problem. Grab this. They're screwed. Look at the boost. Look at look at his movement. He's telling me, he's like, oh, I'm screwed. I say, no, I know. So see how I air roll to block that? Hopefully they put it in and we can watch this. So when you know a 50's coming and you can tell the angle, look how I air roll here. So he's coming high, just air roll. It's just your brick wall it. Because the side flip there would have been a bit too dangerous because I think I would have fluffed it in that situation. But it, it's all about 50. This actually has probably been uh, a really good lesson, this game, for 50s. There we go, a little touch around. That's what I was trying to do earlier, the reveal touch. Hopefully that's making sense. I don't know how you would call it. But right here, I want to reveal this play. Like I was, You can hit the ball to hit the player. I can move the ball out the way uh, to get to the player there. So we're on a, a six-game win streak, something like that. I don't know how many games we've played, but it seems like we've got a lot of forfeits today. There we go. Finally, Div 2. What season are we on, actually? Yeah, I know the season's ending soon. I just, can't, I just don't know what season we're actually on. That was a terrible kickoff from me. I completely messed up my landing. So I'm just going to scare him off. Just got to give my teammate a bit of space there because I, I fluffed up the kickoff big time. I don't know what happened. I landed badly. So I may not have air rolled as long as normal. Or I may have just landed a bit too early. So they're looking for too much. So fake, fake. Single jump, that's fine. Again, we're going to win the 50. Right here, we're going to move it around them because they're coming in stiff. If I would have moved that around a bit better, I would have scored. We're going to wait in that here. Nice hit. We're going to move forward. Nice shot. Yeah, nice shot. I'd stop moving forward. I knew that was a guy. That's a nice shot. That is a very nice shot. 
so it gets it moving. What I like about that is when they hit the ball and then they flip, they're actually doing really good distance management as opposed to if they just shoot the ball away. They've got to then catch it up a bit more. So that was good. Smart move. Don't know how intentional that was, but I really like this guy's boost trail. That's really cool. It's actually distracting me how nice it is. Very colorful. Wow. Oh, good boost grab from it. So here, I'm going to try and block that as best as I can from the early uh, attack. And so again, I'm watching this guy. I've got the supersonic. I always know, sorry, I always know how much I've got to go supersonic. I'm just going to try and block that because that was dangerous. So all those heavy hits into the corner are dangerous. That's what you always want to control in defense. Don't want to be too heavy. We're reaching a little bit too much here, but I'm going to calm down. This guy's backwards slash the look at that. Sideways, just a quick jab. And now, Riven Break. Wasn't on target, but it's a Riven Break. And you can tell because it's led to this, okay? Uh, a potential open net. And that's what twos is. It's finding gaps. It's the ability to find gaps. I'm going to wait and I'm going to turn here. Because I ideally want to be able to move forward into this play if something goes wrong. But sometimes you have to back away to do that. And now I'm sideways in. And now I'm on the shadow. And now I get a free ball. And boom. Lateral dribble. Get ready, baby. Get your cameras ready. Ah, oh, I missed. <laughs> no. Teammate. I'm so sorry. That should have been a goal. Oh, my days. I'm so embarrassed right now. That should have been a goal. Oh, no demo. I do apologize. That was bad play from me. That was the ultimate hookshot position. That should have been the easiest goal of my life. I'm actually going to clear that away. I know they're backing up, but I haven't got much boost. And I missed that one too. I'm going to go for the demo. I really wanted that mid boost there. Oh, no. Teammate's wide. Nice. A little bit of fear came in when they went wide for no reason because now they've got to move into position. And now what happens? That's an open net. Hopefully, I've finished this. That's off. There we go. What happens is you telegraph your defense. So a lot of people look at it as on off. Or like defensively, you want to be watching the opponents, right? So you can figure out where to play it. But it's the same on, on offense. You want to look where the defenders are to find your gaps. In both ways, you have to be paying attention to the opponents. Okay. And again, that was like a, you know, pacifist system. We're getting them on the counters. Most of the time you're seeing, we're getting them on the counters. And when we're not, we're doing these jabs. That's really bad for me. A bit too close there. Great play from them. We're going to move up. Get the save. They've double commit. Classic Rocket League at champ free. It does happen. Quick flick straight away. Look for a demo. That's a great touch from the teammate. Quick flick again. Okay. That's fine. Mainly to wear them down because one of them doesn't have boost here. Oh, oh okay. So bad for me there. Should have probably saved. No problem. The teammate went on the shot that I wasn't expecting to him, and uh, I was trying to flick onto the backboard. They came in across, which they didn't want to do. Um, right there, I don't think I had to save anyway. It would have been a bad save. It would have led to a goal, so. I just rotated in too early. Misread that. Here could be an opportunity for a doink. Into the middle. And I'm going to back off here because... Nice shot. Oh, unlucky. Because he got the win, if I don't go crazy. That's perfect. So they've gone a bit early. I'm just going to tap it. Why do I jump and tap that? Because it gives it back to him? Well, because he had a demo for him. I'm going to lift this up. Look at me stalking him, stalking him. There's one. There's two. Okay, I'm going to wait here just in case I can't. So this is why I keep telling you guys, watch the players. So I'm watching. Boom, quick speed up. Watching, so boom, quick speed up. Okay, give him the open net. Nice shot. Always watching the opponents is the main thing here. Again, would I prefer to take that central? Absolutely. Good stuff from the teammate. Nice try. Jab would have been better there, just so they know. You know, again, that's why we always preach starting the offense with the jab. Again, we're going to wait. And there, look at the danger. There isn't much, right? So it only becomes dangerous if we throw, uh, oh, if our teammate throws themselves. So I, I wasn't ready for that. There's, there's not what I was expecting. I was going to say throw themselves forward. I really expected a side flip here or a touch, but they went for the demo instead. So I just was not ready. Side flip. I was ready for the side flip to move forward into that 50. So that that is why you stay deep. And that's bad for me to misread that game. Yeah, I just don't think the demo in that position was the right thing to do. That's a terrible turn. No, we're off. Side flip. Barrel through with the side flip. Close. And I'm going to take this ball and I'm going to throw it into this corner. I'm going to let them know I've got it. Because I don't want us to displace and just play bad now. Boom. Look at the 50. Wait for it. Oh, I didn't mean to dodge. I did not mean to. Oh, and I missed the boost. I, I actually meant to be a single jump and then a delayed shot. Did not mean to dodge there. But you could have seen that would, that would have been a goal if I didn't mess up. I'm going to go early here just to block them. Teammates should have that. Nice. 
Bad landing from me, but teammate's got speed here. So, again, when you do that, like I went early there, it sort of lets them know where the opportunities are. I'm going to play that out. This is good. They're both on the sides. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Okay, there we go. We're just going to wait here. It's going to wait here. See him coming in? Boom. Quick high flick. And I'm going to grab that. So, just watch them. That's, that's a win for us. That might be a goal. Yep. Quick snapshot. Not what I wanted. We're going to grab that. Teammate shouldn't have left it. Should definitely. I'm going to grab that as well. Teammate should be grabbing these boosts a bit more. See how, because he's shallow in net, he can't actually make that save there. He has to let it roll. So, it can be quite intimidating. Hopefully, teammate, I was going to say, doesn't go too all in here. But he actually is going to end to the goal. Is he going to end to the goal? We've had a lot more uh, shot attempts, it felt like. So, we're going to wait. And up we go. There we go. So we're just blocking the the shot attempt there. GG, well played. I made a few mistakes there. I pushed forward. That was bad defending for me. I should have stayed deeper in that. Again, the whole point of the fundamentals is if you play the fundamentals for 95% of your games, you should be winning. Okay? So uh, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate the support. Uh, look after yourself and peace out. Peace, peace.